Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the Canon XF105. This is a very small professional camcorder from Canon, sort of the little brother to the XF305. And in fact, surprisingly, they actually have many of the same features as the 305. If you followed our blog for a while, Ian did a really good outline of the XF305, and actually all those features, well, many, many of them, have come into this little camera as well. The big difference being uh, that instead of having a three-chip uh, CMOS design and a big lens, I, this camera has a smaller lens uh, and a single chip design. So just one single 1920 by 1080 CMOS chip. And the controls of that, this little lens are done with this little rocker here. I can choose between focus, iris, and zoom, and then, and then adjust that here. So it's sort of limited control in terms of the focus and I, uh, in terms of the lens itself. Uh, but again, very beautiful camera overall. Uh, and additionally, I record still to these compact flash cards in the uh, MPEG-2 422 50 megabit format. So a really high quality format uh, and a little camera, very impressive. So all these features are really impressive and the just like the 305, uh, but there's a couple that are really unique to this camera I wanted to go over with you. And the first is the ability for this camera to work in 3D applications. The camera has a SDI and a Genlock uh, connector so I can send HDSDI out and use Genlock to lock two cameras together for 3D. Put two cameras together and I put two of these together on a rig and I actually have the ability in the menus to adjust my zoom so I can even get these uh, lock up two different zooms so they zoom together uh, on a rig. So put a connector in here to control the focus iris and zoom and I got myself a sort of fully 3D functional camera with very limited wiring. We see 3D rigs all the time with lots of motors on them to, to lock up uh, focus, iris, and zoom. Uh, here I can do it with one small connector uh, linked together through Genlock and I'm pretty well set up. So we have a new 3D rig called the uh, Hurricane 3D rig. Two cameras together on that and we're really impressed with the results of that. So 3D capable all the way and so small that it makes, makes for a nice small rig. Additionally, one of the features that I get requests for a lot and questions about a lot uh, is the ability to shoot an infrared. Now, uh, there's a lot of small cameras out there in the sort of consumer world that shoot infrared, you know, green, white images. And that's popular, but they're not really pro cameras. So a lot of professionals call me and say, where do I get an uh, infrared camera that's not an older tape-based camera? Well, this is a great option. They actually have a little switch in the front. Snap that forward. And then it turns on a little infrared light and switches the camera over to infrared. Now, if I flip it to you, you see that nice green image there. This is infrared shot, and I'll show that to you. There's the camera. Of course, that's very bright, so you'll see it very strange. Um, but the, uh, the ability for the camera to shoot in infrared is, is big for many people, and it is going to a high quality 422 HD format. So again, uh, this is unique in that way. Uh, surprisingly enough, infrared is still very popular, but you know, for all the ghost hunters out there and everyone in the, going to different uh, war zones, it's very important. So the little XF105, small, light, and high quality. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.